guys, Pat here, and tonight I'm taking a look at a new disc from Lone Star, their new overstable fairway driver, the Chupacabra. I've got two of them. I've got one in the Alpha and the Bravo plastic, and I took them out to Deerfield today to try them out on a variety of lines. Some holes where I would legitimately throw a disc like this somewhere, maybe I wouldn't, but for the most part they worked out. I'll give you a quick look at them. This is the Alpha one, and if you see, it looks very similar to something like a star firebird scooped out under wing pretty blunt nose with that almost like little notch at the end here this one's got a little bit of dome and then if you take a look at the bravo one it is almost completely flat and actually has this really cool like nuclear burst in the middle there which i think is really awesome and they do fly pretty different the alpha is a little bit stiffer and in a lot of the discs from Lone Star I've tried so far, the Alpha's been a little more stable. That's not the case with these. This one, because of the added dome it has, if you get a look at them, it's actually quite a bit domier. And it makes it glide pretty good when I threw it on some backhand lines and when I threw it on a lighter forehand line, it, it held it pretty well. It's almost like a beefy or a mad cat type flight. Whereas this guy is like, splice flare type overstable brutally overstable and i really really like it they're both really useful uh, i filmed a variety of throws hope you guys check those out and we can uh, recap after beautiful deerfield disc golf park in carsville i'm trying to forehand flex on hole one gets up there inside circle two on hole three i'm going big backhand line skipping up there really nicely and gave myself about a 20 foot putt over on hole six, nice soft backhand hyzer. It glides up there and skips inside circle one, easy putt. Going big wide hyzer on hole seven, gets a pretty nice skip and ends up on circle's edge. I made that putt, so felt good about that. On hole eight, nice soft hyzer, trying to keep it inside the OB that's really tight. As you can see right here, it just barely did by a couple feet and gave myself a pretty easy putt there. On hole nine, I'm using the alpha and got it a little bit low so it just skips along the ground for a while, but easy up and down three. Got myself a little bit too much hyzer on this one, circle two look. Piped this one right down the gut on hole 11, nice little flex, and it skipped up right by the basket, and that one almost went in. On hole 12, I'm trying this force over forehand that didn't really come back how I wanted it to. I had a, a look for up and down three though. On 13, trying this nice low skip shot, it jumps way up there and gives me a look for a putt. 19, going big flex over here, it ends up just inside the inbounds in circle two. So as you can see, they both had a very useful flight. Um, the alpha one I found to be really good for shots where you want it to hold straight for a long time before it starts to fade, or if you give it a little bit of Anheuser, it'll hold that and kind of flatten out. Whereas the Bravo one, it's gonna fight out of your hand. Like as soon as you let it go, it's trying to, to fight to the right or the left, whichever the hyzer side is for you. It skips really well. They both skip pretty good, but this one really skips hard. And I really enjoyed the flight. Might throw this sucker straight in the back. It was fantastic. It flies like a really overstable flare or splice or the old FAF Firebirds and I really enjoyed it. Hope you guys check one out and uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.